Big Ten Network has been a terrific success. You've got to be very pleased with what you're getting. You know, we, we are, you know, to see it come from an idea or concept to launch and then to grow to where it is today. What was the reaction when people said, you're going to do a Big Ten Network? I'm thinking about it. Well, are you crazy? You know, I mean, some you people thought you couldn't, it couldn't be done. Other people thought, oh, it's great. But then other people thought, well, you don't have distribution. How are you going to get that? And, you know, I, I guess you have to have a little bit of faith and you have to have a little bit of risk in you and you have to have a little bit of trust developed with others who are following you. But I thought the risks were worth it. And, you know, we had presidents and athletic directors who agreed enough and supported enough that we were able to have the um, cohesion necessary to carry forward. It's available to, in 73 million homes nationwide. It's in Canada. It's in Europe. Many of the football and basketball games are carried globally over the internet. We've got relationships with Hulu, all the major distributors in the country, satellite cable, telephone. But starting up um, a cable network is not easy. There are lots of uh, obstacles, lots of challenges, but you know, together as a team, uh, Big Ten universities and, and Fox were able to achieve, you know, in a relatively short period of time, uh, a very stable, uh, ongoing uh, business opportunity. Is the goal for the network to obviously develop more programming beyond the game, so you're getting people going to the network that you know, and non, non game time. Yeah, I think people, you know, we you want to build brand awareness. People know that we're there now. You know, we want to create habit you know, viewers for our studio shows, uh, you know, people find the games, but nevertheless, it's not easy because, you know, we're not, never will be ESPN. I mean, they've got a 20-year head start. We'll never have uh, the vision or the dimension uh, that they have, but, you know, we are going to be a very significant player, I think, on the regional level and to some extent a national and international player because of the dimension of the Big Ten followership. There is a demand for this. And I think step one, after you get the games up and going, is you establish studio. And step after step two, I think it's the other programming, whether it's historic programming, coaches shows, or um, you know new creative enterprises on a quarter to quarter basis. We have also the institutional programming, which I think our schools are proud of, and there'll be more of that. We'll be most vibrant in September through May, and be less so in the summer. But my hope is that we'll be able to do some very creative things bringing um, action uh, to viewers and, uh, and, and continue to grow the base of followers of Big Ten.